Hey, good morning. It's uh, uh, March 3rd, uh, 2022. It's about a eh, yeah, little, little after 8 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be up to the 70s, mid-70s or maybe even 76 today uh, here in El Paso. Um, this morning I uh, went to uh, Albertsons. Yesterday they put a flyer out and um, I can't remember the name of the stick right now to call my, uh, it's with the bone, ah, bone-in ribeye. Bone-in ribeyes were uh, $6.30 a pound. So I went and bought uh, five complete meals. That's two, two, at least one pound ribeye steaks. And I spent, uh, I think it's $75. And my savings was like $95. So just to get that out of the way, that's all you got to do. If you can take a little bit of time to look through the papers and the coupons. There's a, a way to eat good food uh, for not that's not too expensive. Now on to the premise of this video. Um, my contention, my theme for this video is that modern women are literally vampires. Um, I got a call from my son, my oldest son, Duke, um, his name's Duke James Forsyth, anyways. Um, hope I didn't just blow him up. <laughs> but um, he's calling me, and he's just, he's upset. Um, he, he's uh, 31, uh, makes great money. He's in a um, computer engineering degree from uh, Virginia Tech, doing very well for himself, over six foot tall, no problems. And he's extremely frustrated. He, he called and said he was just, he said he doesn't know how to find a good woman <clears throat> and he wants uh, now that he's financially secure and on a good glide path he's looking for a woman to marry so they together can build a family and he said that um, he asked me for any advice and I told him to move to El Paso like I did and look for a traditional woman um, he can't do that because of his job he's just making too much money to do that but <clears throat> And he was, he was just, he was just, he was just almost distraught about, he, he, he kept commenting on how fake they were. And he kept talking about, they're so fake. And he said, it's so hard to find a woman that's in shape and not delusional. He said, um, they lie about having kids and they have kids and they slept with too many men. Um, and he's just, <laughs> just... I'm stunned. And then he, he starts listing the, the reasons. I mean, he says they're just completely fake. Um, and th th they're vampires because they suck time out of you. And uh, he called them vampires. That's, I'm stealing this from him. They call them vampires because they uh, steal your time, suck the life out of you by stealing your time. They want your money. They want you to take them out and spend money on them and this kind of stuff. And then he was like, but they're all fake. They have uh, fake hair. Uh, there is uh, their eyebrows are fake. Uh, their uh, eyelashes are, he said, they're ridiculous. I, I call it uh, where the caterpillar crawls up on your uh, eyelids and, and dies there and just stays there. He said one woman, when he was on a date with her, uh, blinked her eye and this eye stuck shut because <laughs> her eyelashes were too long and too thick or had too much shit on them. He said uh, he's complaining about the girls with uh, uh, rings in their nose and a bowl ring here and tongue piercings and too many earrings and like a piercing up here and tattoos. And he just <laughs> he was like, Jesus Christ, Dad, I can't find a fucking good woman. I just want to marry a good woman and, and, and build a family. Um, <laughs> I just let him, I just shook my head. I tried to uh, appease him, and and then he's just talking to about him, about their their physical height, and and weight. He said one woman like they'll and they lie so much. They lie about their height. They lie about their weight. They lie about how much money. They're just they're just vampires, and they they steal part of your life every time you encounter them. They steal part of your. He was so frustrated. I just I just uh, I'm a definitely. I think I'll make this. Uh, I'll think of the lead will be why modern women are vampires. And I'll add the uh, MIGTO community in there. But, um, and he said he's, he's sometimes he's, he, he says he's afraid to be alone with them because he goes like this. What if they say I did something to him? You know, and they didn't do anything to him. And he said, it's just, it's, it's so crazy. It's, <laughs> 
But he already knows about, um, anyways, and he talked about the fingernails. He kept asking me. He was like, Dad, how the hell do they wipe their ass with their fingernails like that long? How do they do that kind of thing? How do they keep their bodies clean? How do they take a shot? He goes, what if she pokes me in the eye? <laughs> I just, I just, <laughs> anyways, um, it's funny to me because I don't have to worry about it anymore. But uh, to him, it's just, uh, he's like, what else do I have to do to find a good woman? I keep telling him, you got to move to a place to where they have uh, women that are traditional and that have traditional values. And I, I'm not saying that the woman has to be a slave and stay home, be a stay-at-home mom and do all that stuff. No, she should work and help the family out, but you should build something together. Um but there's just so many women that are in love with the Disney fantasy. And they all believe they're at least an 8 or a 9 on the chart out of 1 to 10. 0 to 10. They're all 8s or 9s. And anyway, so. And he said they get, they get extremely upset with him when if the date's over and they want to have a second date. And he says no and he tells them why. He tells them, well, you lied about your height and your weight. Uh, you lied about this, you lied about that, and they just, they, it says they go ballistic. Um, so anyways, um, if you have any comments or any way to help out, uh, I told him to try Match.com or, um, damn it, there's another one. I think it's called eHarmony. Other than that, I don't know what to do for him. Um, yeah, so you guys, uh, <laughs> if you're out there trying to date or you are dating, I, feel, I, I mean, you shouldn't have to put up with these delusional ass women. So, what, what does the guy Kevin Samuels tell him to? Just tell him to buy a dog and die alone. <laughs> you guys stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of your damn self. Like a fart in a G string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye bye.